Here's our next question. This is from a nurse. And uh, this has to do with uh, child growth. And she had a few pediatric patients who fell off their growth curves after starting low carb. Now we don't know what she means by low carb. Uh, we don't know what the food and we don't know what the blood sugars were with the kids that went low carb. But this, she said this is a, a barrier. I guess she is a type one that is a low carber. But uh, she said this is a huge barrier for her to advocate her way of eating in the clinic. Uh, has this happened to any of your pediatric patients? And um, she said she suspected they're not eating enough protein. Uh, so she answered part of the question mm -hmm. uh, correctly, but I can think of another part of the answer, and that would be to check the free T3. The thyroid may be low. We know that uh, when people uh, are, uh, are eating less, especially if uh, they lose weight or eat less carbohydrate, the, T, the, the deiodinase that converts T4 to T3, the deiodinases in certain tissues may uh, uh, lose some of their potency, and you may have to uh, start giving these people uh, T3 replacement. Uh, triiodothyronine, triiodothyronine. Um, uh, I find that most type 1 diabetics who come into my office already have hypothyroidism before I make any changes in their diets, but uh, it is possible by lowering carbohydrate to uh, also lower their T3, and that, that has to be checked. You know, by the by, the way, I saw uh, a paper, one of the first papers that I saw that correlates and actually has a plot, it's a bar graph of A1C versus um, uh, child growth. And it, I believe it's by a, a guy in Germany named Bonfig. And he had, he had a statistically significant number of kids. And he showed that high blood sugars do indeed uh, uh, stunt growth. Did you see that paper? Um, I don't remember whether I saw it or not. I know that the first one to observe this uh, was Bill Tamberlane at Yale, who uh, I introduced to self-monitoring uh, many years ago, and um, he immediately popularized the fact that uh, when kids were diagnosed with diabetes, they drop off their growth curve, and when he got their blood sugars controlled, they'd go back on. Right. And that's the first thing that I learned about uh, child growth and uh, diabetes. Yeah. Um, that's my experience exactly with Dave. <clears throat> yeah. um, so, uh, but we, we should look at uh, their T3s. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, to get the proper uh, dosing of T3, it should be a timed release form that you can get from compounding chemists, and the doctor has to prescribe uh, appropriate doses. You can get it to last about 12 hours, so you take it twice a day. And we have a uh, session on that. Right. 